Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because today I am going to be showing you a few different fashion hacks. I use these in every single aspect of my life. I use them all the time. These aren't just for the sake of it. They're legitimately lifesavers for me. They keep me from having to spend too much money or throw items away that I don't necessarily want to throw out. And also they're really great for changing up your look depending on what it is. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. It means the absolute world to me. I really, really enjoy making these videos. I love making aesthetic videos. I have so much fun doing it. I think it's such a creative way to be spending my time as well as keeping me sane during quarantine because I'm not back at work yet. So please don't forget to subscribe. You have no idea how much it helps and how much I appreciate it. You guys are the best. Cause you're simply the best. Cause you're simply the best. Better than all the rest. Better than all the rest. Oh my god, ew, David. Alexa. <laughs> incredible. And then if you want to make sure that you don't miss any videos, make sure that you hit the bell so that you get a notification for when I post new videos. I also just want to mention that I am planning on doing a few giveaways. I figured that this was a really good way to kind of engage and interact with some of my followers and hopefully inspire new ones to join. And just to show you guys a few of the things that I have to give away here, we have different makeup palettes, Violet Boss, Dominique Cosmetics, as well as moisturizers, exfoliators, other skincare, Murad, palettes from Tarte, from Cover FX, lipsticks from KVD Beauty, Dose of Colors, Stila, Dior. So if you'd like to be automatically entered into the giveaway, all you have to do is one, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video. Two, leave a comment down below and give this video a like. And three, follow me on Instagram. I'll be doing this multiple times so you have plenty of chances to win. So with that in mind, we can go ahead and get into it. First things that I really want to talk about is the concept of jeans that are maybe a little bit too tight. And pants in general obviously all sort of fall within this genre. I figured that instead of going and getting them either tailored or having to buy a new pair or anything like that, we're all feeling the kind of remnants of quarantine. You're either super fit right now or you have been snacking like a boss and I am definitely in one of those categories so I'll just let you assume which one that is. If you have a pair of jeans or pants that are just a little bit too tight, they're kind of singed in, if maybe you're pregnant and you don't want to invest in maternity clothes quite yet, or even necessarily at all. Maybe they're your favorite pair, maybe they're a pair that you would normally fit into, I get it, don't worry, nobody here is judging you. So one of the best ways to go about doing this would be to grab an elastic band. Just take your elastic band and wrap it around the button. Once you've done that, just go ahead and pull the whole thing through the button hole. Then once you've done that, you can go ahead and pull it back around and wrap it again around the button. It's gonna give you a few extra centimeters, inches, depending on how loose the band is, and it's just gonna give you that little bit of extra space that you need. Now here I do have my shirt tucked in. If you're working somewhere a little bit more professional, wearing a different shirt, a jacket, anything along the lines of that, there are ways to get around not actually seeing this. Now my second hack is for a few different reasons here. Maybe you have a pair of jeans that are a little bit looser fit. Um, I actually don't even know if I own any of my more boyfriend's kind of style jeans. This hack would actually be great for that. If you want it to be cinched at the waist, but maybe a little bit looser in the leg, or alternatively, if you have a body shape that is a little bit more similar to mine. I do have thicker thighs and a pretty juicy booty. However, on occasion, you still get a pair that are almost perfect, but maybe just still have a little bit of extra space in the waist. and that is such a big issue that little bit of gaping above the butt on that belt line so one of my favorite things to do is to take a tie uh, you could use a shoelace this one that I have here is actually from a robe that I have in my bathroom so here I'm just gonna take the tie and I'm gonna put it through the two sides as well as the middle and then I'm just gonna make sure that both of the sides are even and I'm gonna go ahead and tie a bow Using a tie that is maybe a little bit more attractive or flattering, maybe it even matches your outfit. Maybe you're the kind of person who has a few different scarves lying around. It's all part of the fashion game, but it depends on what your personal preferences are. If you do not want to see it, definitely wearing a jacket over top of this, just like this one here, is a perfect example.
One of my other favorite things to do is either to purchase oversized button-ups or borrow from my boyfriend. So this one is actually stolen from his part of the closet. I think that a white button-up is a classic look for just about anybody. Obviously, if you have them in different materials, they're great for summer, winter, it doesn't really matter, but they are a classic staple piece that I think should be in everybody's wardrobe. Now for my specific body shape, I have a bit of broader shoulders, a tiny waist, and then wider hips. So when I'm wearing clothes, I really, really like to tuck them in. I can't even think of the last time that I left a shirt untucked. It really doesn't emphasize my figure very well, so this is a big aspect for me. I think that there is an art to tucking. So for the longest time, I would just take a shirt, shove it in, and I would find that the front or even the back around the butt, you would see bunching or the material would be too thick or there would be too much excess material. So you would find that like around your midsection of your stomach or around the butt that maybe you had too much extra material. When you're going to tuck in the shirt, undo your pants and then leave the last few buttons undone. Then go ahead and tuck those corners into your leg. So keep in mind just grabbing a pair of pants that maybe aren't too, too tight. There is an art to tucking, but there is also an art to the perfectly rolled up sleeve. Now I love rolling up my sleeves. Um, I often do it out of convenience, but also sometimes aesthetic. So when it comes to a rolled up sleeve, I hate having to push them back up again. When you're rolling them up, instead you can do this. Grab another elastic and put it around your wrist. Start pulling up your sleeve and then start bunching it. Then I want you to start rolling up your sleeve. Now, as you can see here, I only have the elastic on one arm. So when I start waving my arms, you can see the one that doesn't have the elastic is starting to fall down. So that's gonna keep it nice and secure in place and you're not gonna have to worry about it all day. Now, if you're anything like me, I love band shirts. I love oversized shirts. I love that kind of grungy look once in a while. It's so much fun. I like to be really, really eclectic with my style. So a classic band shirt is one of my favorite looks. Now, granted, these shirts tend to be quite oversized. This one's from a Renault Fitters and it is definitely massive. I think it was like a one size fits all kind of thing. So one of my favorite hacks is this. Make sure you're wearing a bra that has a wide elastic band along the bottom. So just go ahead and take the bottom of your shirt and start tucking it into the bottom of your bra band. Now, this also works for non-oversized shirts. If you you want a more cropped look. Now an absolute must for me is to roll up a sleeve. I do this for almost every single t-shirt that I own. It doesn't really matter if it's oversized or not. I love the detailing in it. But as you can see here with one of the hems rolled up, I think it adds a little bit more shape to the overall look. You can see more of my arm. The unrolled sleeve looks a little bit more boxy, a little bit more unshapely, and I think that it just adds a really cool detailing as well as more casual look, but not too messy. Now I'm pretty picky with my cardigans. I love wearing a cardigan as a shirt without anything underneath. I also like ones that are a little bit more cropped. It complements my shape a little bit better and is more of a look that I'm going for. Now you can absolutely wear your cardigan as normal. However, I do like to wear maybe a little bit more of a bralette, maybe something lacy, and then have my cardigan kind of off the shoulder. I think it can have a really feminine look without being too much. But another completely different look that you can do is just turn your cardigan the other way around. Now at the front, it looks like a completely new sweater, but at the back, it has different detailing, which I love showing off a sexy back. So if that's your jam, then this might be perfect for you. I think that it looks really cute as well as it's one item that now gives me two different looks. You could always change out the buttons for something a little bit more elegant looking. That's a really good way to vamp up your wardrobe. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love wearing dresses. I love wearing skirts, all of that. But sometimes in Canada, especially, it's a little bit too cold. So I want to wear a sweater. Now, a sweater can often be a little bit too boxy looking, they're too long, they don't have anywhere to tuck into, so you can't use that bra hack. Take your belt and put it around your waist. If you need to, you can always take a knife and punch a new hole in it. So just go ahead and cinch it as tight as you can around your waist and then start pulling that sweater up. So now the whole look is cropped, elegant, but also effortless. Now, I don't know about you, but I am really, really into this whole blazer look. A jacket, anything, a blazer dress is super cute. If you have an oversized blazer, say from a boyfriend or a husband or something along the lines of that, or maybe you just bought one yourself and you wanna be able to wear it, but maybe it's too boxy. Maybe it's not feminine enough. Maybe you just wanna add a little bit of something extra to it to give it shape. You can take one of these tiny little elastics from the dollar store. Go ahead and put that around your belt. And then when you go ahead and adjust it, you're gonna have all that leftover tongue. Now you can just use that little elastic, which is basically invisible. Now you have a secured belt and a cinch waist. So you can do this for any look, just to kind of elevate it or bring it together. So 
Now this jacket here is one of my absolute favorites. I got it on super clearance. It does come with belt loops, however, it never came with a belt. So I was really disappointed in that. And even though it is oversized, and sometimes I like that look depending on the outfit, there are other times where I just wish that it was a little bit more shaped, not quite so boxy, especially if I have an outfit underneath that I wanna show off a bit more. Because it's so big, it can look really closed off. Now this is just the same robe tie that I used from before, but it's black and it's perfect for this look and for this jacket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that tie, put it through the belt loops, and make sure that they're even. I'm gonna tie a bow throughout the back of it instead of wrapping it around. I'm not trying to close off the look, I wanna open it up more. So doing that, I'm pulling the front of the jacket back a little bit further, which opens up the front and allows you to see more of the outfit. And then also from the side, it gives more of a cinched look, so it's giving my body more shape to it instead of something that's quite so boxy and oversized. Now I do have the sleeves rolled up a little bit, but I wanna elevate the look even more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that exact same hack before. I'm gonna take an elastic and I'm gonna use it to keep the sleeves in place. So last but not least is this hack that I use for just about every day of my life, especially when going to work and I've already done my makeup. I don't know about your routine, but for mine, I always do my makeup first. So this works really well with not transferring any makeup onto your clothes, but it also helps with keeping your hair a little bit more tidy, as well as reducing some of the frizz or static electricity from pulling your shirt over. But any top that doesn't really have enough stretch to it to fully get your head through, this is an absolutely great hack. A silk scarf would be absolutely ideal in this situation, but anything you have laying around will really work. I don't know what it is about this scarf or this particular way of tying it, but it kind of reminds me of the guy who plays Alan in Jurassic Park. He has the whole denim look as well as this red scarf that he has around his neck and I live for it. And it kind of makes me feel like maybe I'll go and fight a T-Rex after this because that's a vibe in itself. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. You have no idea how much I appreciate it and I really hope that you learned something. So please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.